and rolling. Okay. <laughs> All right, hey guys, what's up? I wanted to do a little sit down Q and A with you guys, give you some updates, and uh, let you guys in on some things. So I made a list of questions that you guys have been asking me over the past couple months, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna answer them. So here we go. How's your 2021 been so far? My 2021, it's been really good actually. I released a lot of new music last year, so it just makes me even more excited for this year. Yeah, lots of changes, but all good ones. Do you have a new song coming out? I do have a new song coming out. It's called Two Feet. Are you single? I am single, yes. What happened between you and Gurkira? A lot of people have I would asking. go deeper into it. Okay. I would give a whole backstory about even like how you guys met. Um, yeah, so Gurkira and I met in 2019, and... Um, I had kind of been exploring Punjabi and like Indian culture as a whole a little bit before him and I met and so when I did meet him I was really excited because I'd never dated a Indian guy before so he was very different for me I was very different for him and I think we both just really got caught up in all of that it was amazing and fun and I learned so much from him we dated for two years and in that time, I feel like I've grown so much as a person, and I'm really grateful for that experience with him. But I think as time went on, we really started to get to know each other and um, just really realized that not a lot of our values aligned, and we had a lot of differences that we just couldn't really accept within each other I guess and it wasn't anything to do with his family or any of those cultural reasons at all that was a discussion we had and his parents weren't as accepting at first but I, I did speak to them and met them virtually and they were very nice but uh, yeah that wasn't that wasn't really the reason we broke up well the question is what happened between you yeah, it, it just really comes down to just, I, I wasn't happy anymore um, just with the way that things were going between us and I just, um, it kind of started to take a toll on my mental health if I'm honest and I, I knew that I needed to put myself first in that situation, so that's what I did. What's the best lesson you took away from your relationship? I think trust your intuition, but also don't ignore the red flags early on in a relationship. There really shouldn't be any red flags early on, and if there are, don't ignore them. You can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped or who doesn't want to change for the better. This is not your job to try to change someone, um, and if you find yourself trying to do that too often, it's probably not a good thing. So, um, Also, I feel like it, I kind of lost myself a little bit in that relationship, so don't lose yourself trying to change someone else and trying to make someone else better for you. Is your new song about the breakup? It is about the breakup, yeah. I actually wrote it uh, last June when we were kind of figuring out whether we were going to continue or not. So it's been a bit, but it's coming out. Would you ever date another Indian guy? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Are you still taking Punjabi lessons? I am, and I love it, and I'm going to continue. Can we expect another Punjabi country crossover anytime soon? Yes! Oh my god, yes! I'm so excited. I actually, I don't know if I should say this, but I just finished recording the next song, and it's not going to be out for a while, but it is fire it's fire i'm so excited about it and i know you guys are gonna love it can you give us a little sneak peek oh i could should i yeah i think you should okay hold up this is how i've been spelling it for my whole life <laughs> do you really think i sound like that i'm just gonna pick a random spot and play okay I don't want to go with the title. 
What do you think about people accusing you of profiting off of another culture? Uh, yeah, um, I think music is meant to be shared and if we didn't have crossovers and artists experimenting with different sounds, I don't think we would have a lot of the music that we have today or that exists today. Um, and yeah, music is art. So any kind of art that you want to create or are interested in, I feel like is fair game. And uh, yeah, as long as you're doing it respectfully, go for it. What's your biggest accomplishment to date? My biggest accomplishment? I feel like I'm doing a lot of things that I've always dreamed of doing, um, which makes me really happy. But last year during a pandemic, I released Accent, which if I go back to me being as a child, looking up to me now would be like, where the hell did that come from? Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And singing in a different language is really difficult. So I feel like Accent is probably my biggest accomplishment so far in my opinion. And it's just done so well too, which is really great. What are you most excited about this year? Um, I'm excited for... I was excited for performing, but I don't think that's going to happen in Canada. I'm really excited to be just releasing new, new music again all year and filming some really cool music videos. And I'm excited for summer. I love summer. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for the new Punjabi country song. But before that, I'm releasing Two Feet on May 14th. So that one's coming out and we just filmed the music video for it and it is insane. I'm really excited for that one. So something different, something sad, and I love sad. So You mentioned your new song Two Feet. What's your favorite lyric in it? Two Feet's such a good song. I love every lyric in that song, but um, I don't have one more fight left in this heart you broke of mine. I'm pretty tired of you showing up when you feel like because that one really just sets it all. I think that answered all of your questions and thank you so much for watching. Two Feet will be out on May 14th, so make sure you go listen to it. It's some tea, so if you still have more questions about the breakup, just listen to the song. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.